Jack Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. Back in the day when I played a lot of rogues and assassins at games and had secret societies and guilds set up, there was always a lot of money exchanging hands, so people were either paying me for services rendered and I was passing money on to guildmates, or I was making purchases of items to pass on to guildmates or for my own use, but it was all done in the shadows basically. So. Being able to pass money uh, was a very common occurrence, and I always looked for a way to sort of make that cooler or sort of enhance that experience rather than me just counting out, you know, 10 silver pieces and handing it to someone. So I started taking the money, I'd stack it up, and I would sort of wrap twine or a piece of suede or leather around it and tie it together in a little bundle. And that seemed to work good for handing off or if I just threw it on a table or I left it sitting somewhere. And plus it didn't clink or jingle around. And I thought that was a pretty good idea, but a lot of times that would slip off and the coins would come loose. And it was really just a hassle trying to hold the coins and then tie them. If you ever tried to tie coins in a basically cylinder form, it's, it's difficult. And, uh, you know, no matter how good you get at it, one little slip and they all come flying out. So I decided the best way to do this would be money bags. Um, now, you can get these nice little leather coin purses and money bags and stuff. Sometimes they're made out of suede, fake leather. But even the inexpensive ones can get expensive if you're conducting, you know, 10, 15, 20 transactions uh, at an event. And I just wasn't really prepared to spend that extra money. So I came up with an idea of making an inexpensive and easy to make coin bag or coin purse. And it's really very simple to do. And you can use the technique I'm gonna show you to make more elaborate ones, but we're gonna go ahead and make a very simple one that you could just put some coins into, tie off, and literally toss to another player, and that's it. You don't have to worry about getting the coin bag back because it didn't cost you really too much to make, and the whole exchange just looks a lot cooler. So let's go ahead and make one. And you only need a couple of things. I'm gonna use a scrap piece of felt that I have laying around, which, it's not going to last long term, but then again, this is meant really just for a single transaction. Or, I mean, if you want to use it for your character, you may be able to get a year's use out of it, but eventually those coins are going to tear through this felt. But if you use a more substantial fabric, I mean, you'll be fine. And then we'll use some of this cheap, uh, like leather or fake leather or suede uh, string that we have. And basically, we'll start out by just laying this felt out, and we'll cut a circular pattern. And that's pretty much it, but let me go ahead and show you the whole process here. So you can see that we have our felt here, and then what we need to do is cut a circular pattern. So I'm just going to use a Frisbee to go ahead and get my circular pattern here. And of course we'll put it in the corner so we're not wasting a lot of material. And then we'll go ahead and just trace it. And then we're just going to cut it out. Now since this is like a disposable one-time use sort of thing, we're not going to worry about the rough edges. We're just going to leave them as they are. Uh, now if you want to make one for yourself, you can of course, you know, make that look better. I'm going to go ahead and punch some holes in here. I'm going to space them somewhere probably between like you know, the tip of your finger to maybe, you know, that far apart. And if we need more, we can always go back and punch more in. Be very careful when you do it. You can use the end of your scissors if you want to, or if you have a press, or if you have an ice pick, or whatever you got to poke these holes in there. You could even use a large needle to sew through if you wanted to. Once you're done poking all your holes, then we're going to take and just feed this through them. And that's pretty straightforward, so we'll go ahead and get started on that. Pro 
tip, if you're having trouble threading it, wrap some tape around it, make yourself basically a little needle point, and that'll help you immensely with pushing it through the fabric if you don't have large needles available. And with a bit of patience, there you have it. Now obviously, if you have a needle large enough to thread this, you can just punch through and it'll go very quickly. If you don't, like I said, you can wrap some tape around the end, stab it through. As long as your holes you punch are big enough for whatever uh, thread or rope you're using, then it'll be a pretty quick process. Leave a little bit of border on the bag when you do it. And like I said, I just eyeballed this entire thing and I think it looks pretty good. Now from there, all you have to do is just start pulling it by these strings and it'll start to close up. And you just want to sort of keep your hand in the center and you can sort of change the tension on these as you go. And you can see it starts to turn into a little purse or a little pouch. And now you can have these drawstrings on the inside or the outside, you know, it's entirely up to you. But there we go, now we have this little pouch and you can just take and wrap this around it. And it's that easy. Let me go ahead and throw some coins in here for you. And now we have our little coin pouch. And like I said, if you had the strings on the inside, you can do that. Or if you want them on the outside, you just turn it inside out. They'll be on the other side, but it doesn't really matter once you have it pulled shut. But now we have our little coin purse or coin pouch here. And uh, let's go ahead and put some treasure in it from the old treasure chest. Maybe a couple gems. And a few copper just to spice it up a little bit. Now, if I have payment for someone and I need to pay for those potions or whatever I'm buying from an alchemist. I can just toss this entire bag to them, keep the change basically. If I have someone I'm needing to make a payment for, I'm doing a dead drop in a hollow log or something. Here's the bag, put it in the pouch, put it in the bag, whatever, hand it off to the person, whatever you want to do with it. But the point is, you don't need the bag back. Uh, the person who gets it, they get to keep it. Hey, it's a little souvenir. Maybe now they have a coin purse they can use and good for them. Like I said, these take very little time to make. If you catch fabric when it's on sale, I mean, you can make this out of any type of fabric. I choose to use this cheap suede cord and, you know, this felt because, you know, it looks somewhat, you know, historic or period. I mean, in the dark, this might pass for something. I mean, how many people really play 100% historically accurate games anyways. Most people, especially if you're watching my channel, probably play a fantasy game or have some degree of fantasy to it. So something like this will pass off just fine. But like I said, if you want to use leather, fake leather, you know, pleather, fur, whatever you want to use, your imagination's the limit. You can use whatever string you want to. You can make post-apocalyptic versions of this, whatever you're trying to do. If you want to make it for yourself though, I would suggest, if you've seen me use my grommet press on other videos, uh, put grommets on all the holes because it'll help it to last a lot longer, especially if you're using a fabric that's going to fall apart pretty easily. If you don't have a grommet press, you can buy the ones where you just sort of hammer it into place and that'll help keep it intact longer. And then as far as size, this is how big that frisbee size got us. So really, when you make these, you need to consider the size that you want because a frisbee size piece got us a bag this big. So if you want a much larger bag, you're going to have to use something like a trash can lid or something uh, to make it. But just be careful because if you're carrying coins, they can get quite heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this back in the old 
treasure chest here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you make one of these, I'd love to see it. So post a picture on uh, social media and tag me in it. Everything on uh, social media is at LARP Mix. I'd love to take a look and see how yours turns out. Hope you liked the idea. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. If you're a first time watcher, hit that subscribe button. You're gonna love the videos that I have. If you're a long time watcher, hit the like button for me. If you're not getting notified of my videos, there's the bell icon if you wanna click on that. If you don't, the videos are still here every week and I have a back catalog of 200 plus videos that you can watch if you want more LARP mix. And of course, as always, adventure on. I've received word the task I sent you on was completed. Here's the coin we agreed on, you bloodthirsty dog. Seems about right. I don't know if all the names are necessary, but <clears throat> it was deliver a mule across town for you. Jeez. Easy money.